Okay, let me just uh, put this down safely <laughs> before someone gets hurt. Um, hi, by the way, Happy New Year and all that good stuff. I feel like it's been a while since we've done one of these, uh, you know, just kind of life updates. Um, I want to sit down a bit before the year really started just to have a bit of a catch up in terms of where I've been and kind of what the plan is going forward because ideally, in about 10 months time, I will no longer be a student. I will instead be a qualified dentist. However, that being said, uh, there's still a lot of life <laughs> that needs to take place in between now and then. So in the meantime, I would suggest getting cozy, maybe getting a drink of choice, and uh, let's just have a bit of a chat. Hi there, I'm Yana Clark, a final year dental student. All right, so since the last update video, quite a lot has happened. Now, especially with regards to the clinical side of things, I'm not going to go into too much detail, mainly because I recapped a lot of it in the last vlog. So instead, I kind of just want to move on to the more big and exciting things. Uh, first and foremost, I passed last year, so you know, that, that's always a big win. And actually, after we finished our academic year near the end of 2022, I actually stayed on for a few extra weeks, partly because I started with some of my final year cases, but mostly I just kind of wanted an excuse to still be in and around the hospital because I wanted to do a bunch of filming, specifically for the short film that recently came out on the channel called This Might Hurt, which recounted a lot of the ups and downs of the past five years of dental school and the lessons I learned along the way. It was very much a labor of love and despite wanting to set my computer on fire during the editing process, I'm very proud of the final result. And I honestly have to thank you guys for the overwhelmingly kind comments and positive reception since its release. And on top of doing filming for the short film, um, I actually ended up doing a few collaborations as well, just because it was the end of the year, I had a bit more time. And so some of the highlights from that included interviewing Dr. Pereira from The Family Dentist and learning a lot more about the business side of dentistry, teaming up with our hospital's oral and maxillofacial pathology department to show off what it is that they're about and what they do, getting hired by the ITI to do some social media stuff for the end of year function, and arguably most excitingly, finally meeting my good friend Uwes from Uwes on the Cusp in person for the very first time following a recent trip to Cape Town. If you're curious about that, it's up over on his Instagram page. But while I was there, I also managed to get some really cool shots and also just had a chance to breathe a little bit after a very long year. I have since come back from said trip, hence why we're back at the apartment. And at the moment, I'm just kind of getting everything sorted and organized before university starts again tomorrow. So this coming semester is going to present a myriad of new challenges, uh, including but not limited to the start of pediatric dentistry, when we do operative dentistry on child patients, fixed prosthodontics, crown and bridge work, and molar endo, more difficult forms of root canal therapies that we do on posterior teeth. Furthermore, the academic load is actually quite heavy because in final year, you essentially get tested on everything you've ever had to study. So you have to mix in a lot of sort of consistent studying with an already busy clinical schedule. So what's the plan? I'm a big believer in schedules, especially at the start of a new semester, mainly because at the start of a semester, your time is usually a bit more unstructured. And so that's usually a good sort of opportunity to get into a new swing of things. And a question I get pretty often from students is, how do you find the time for everything? And my response essentially boils down to set up routines and then stick to them. If that is something you really struggle with, I would highly recommend trying out some ideas from both of the following books. Or if reading is not really your style, check out these Ali Abdul video summaries. But essentially, I think there's a lot of freedom 
in having a set schedule that you can work off of because then you know where all your time is going. And so your time, especially your free time, doesn't mysteriously slip away from you because you're kind of accounting for it. And especially in dental school, there's so much to do that you kind of want every second of free time that you can get. But that being said, maybe just to give you a bit of a framework, this is the schedule that I am going to be following as a final year student. 5 a.m., wake up. 5.30 to 6.30, work out with my gym buddy. 7 to 9, first clinic of the day. 9.30 to 11.30, second clinic of the day. 11.45 to 1.15, lectures. Then it's time for lunch before going back at two for my third clinical session of the day. And then from four to six, I'll be doing overtime primarily in the dental lab. After six, it's just kind of a mix of studying assignments and trying not to go crazy. But the general weekly plan is to be very productive during the week so that on Saturdays, I can kind of take the day off and then on Sundays, I will just be studying. Now, as part of that, you might have noticed I didn't really account for filming and editing. And that is because this year I'll be changing the upload schedule in that now there isn't one. Um, <laughs> essentially with the intensity of final year and the workload ahead of me, I want to prioritize that above everything else. And I honestly think it's going to take quite a lot out of me. And so I don't really foresee myself making a lot of longer form videos this year. It has been an absolute joy making videos for this channel, but I just don't think it's realistic to keep up the same uh, level of output that I did last year, because especially with your final year, the marks that you get at the end of your final year are the marks that you are going to essentially carry into the rest of your career. So there's kind of a bit of pressure associated with that. And so I don't want to get to the end of final year and feel like I could have done better had I you know, not spent as much time on videos. And so, you know, it all just kind of comes back to priorities. I'm a big believer in that it's not always about not having time, but that something is just not high enough of a priority. And unfortunately for this year, videos are kind of going to go down the priority list a little bit just in favor of academics. And so to bring things somewhat full circle, part of the reason I poured all that time and energy into the short film is because I knew I wasn't really going to be able to make longer, more cinematic videos for quite a while. And so that film was very much me kind of closing the book on how things have been up until now. And now we're kind of moving into a new phase, kind of a bit of a transition period. But that being said, I really wanted to take a moment to just say thank you to everyone who has supported the journey up until now. Um, it's been extremely motivating and gratifying to sort of see things that you create have an effect on someone else's life. Um, and it's just been really nice to kind of form friendships that I would have never otherwise had the had I never made these videos. So again, just really wanted to say thank you on all the support. And that isn't to say I won't be uploading anything this year. It's just that with the videos that are going to come out, I can't really vouch for their consistency nor their frequency. However, I am still going to try and make things to some extent, um, especially shorter forms of content, because I think it's kind of reasonable uh, to fit that in. But I think the focus for that will more so be over on my Instagram page. So this is, you know, sort of me plugging the Instagram page a little bit as well. Anyway, all of that being said, looking back, last year was one of the best years I ever had, both personally and professionally. And going into this new year, I'm kind of keen to see if we can make things even better. Thank you for letting me ramble a bit and just uh, share some thoughts. It was nice to catch up again and I will see you again in the next one whenever that might be. But in the meantime, best of luck for the new year. And as always, good luck out there.